Welcome to your last day of the ukulele challenge. This is a very bittersweet feeling. It feels great to have made it this far and to have made so many new friends and had more people join the community. But at the same time, I feel like I'm getting used to this rhythm and communicating with you guys all the time and the process that I'm gonna miss it once it's done. So comment below what you would like the next challenge to be because I think we have to bring the challenges back. This has been way too much fun to only do it once, so we will continue doing it. When I think of the quintessential ukulele song, I think of Israel Kamakawiwo Oles, Somewhere Over the Rainbow, his version of it. And I hadn't told you in the beginning that this would be the last song, but everything that we've learned so far has been to prepare you for this moment, because I think if you're an ukulele player, this is the song that you should learn, that you should know. And if anybody sees you with an instrument like this, they will ask you, oh, do you know that one song by that Hawaiian guy? That's usually how they say it. Sometimes they forget the name of the guy or the lyrics. But uh, this is a song that I would like for you to work on. It is a more challenging piece, but you know all of the chords. You know the strumming pattern. So really the only challenge here is working on the switches. In the comments below, let me know what um, your favorite lesson has been through this challenge. And of course, give me ideas for future ones. I'm using the chord sheet from ukuleletabs.com and that's because I really want you to use the website. It is a great website for you and for any ukulele players because it has pretty much every song that you'd want to learn. So I think it would be great to end on this website that is designed for ukulele players. Please go ahead and check it out. So the first switch is C to E minor and I always say play C with the ring finger. You can do it for this song. However, if you want to be ready for E minor, you can have your index finger on the second fret and play C this way. So that way you go from C to E minor. So let me play the intro for you first. For me, it's more comfortable to do it this way, so I'll do it this way. I just wanted to give you a shortcut. Ooh. doing the island strum if that is too difficult for you then just give me a down strum on each one each chord is getting four beats but you'll see it says C and C so four and four is eight so you can do so match your ability level and work your way up to the island strum so let's do the intro. One, two, ready, go. E minor. F. C. Back to F. E7, pivot. followed kind of the same pattern as the intro that's why I kept going now we do have a switch on the part that says and the dreams that um, you you dream of we can do it together if you're ready one two ready go
you can do island strum down down up up down up down down up up down up because that's eight beats or you can do one two three four five six seven eight one two three four five six seven eight or simple one two three four five six seven eight three four five six seven eight two three four five six seven eight two three four six seven now let's play the last verse you are following the same pattern let's do it one two ready go someday Alrighty, thank you so much for participating in this challenge. It has been so fun. Probably the most fun that I've had with this channel. It's incredible. I cannot wait for the next challenge. I have one mapped out already for December, but I would like to do something before that. So please let me know what you would like to learn. I am happy to teach you and I'm so grateful for you all. So thank you for participating and I will see you in the next challenge. Good job.